the ultimate battle between magic and nature begins. Wizard versus Tree. Hey, everybody. Happy holidays. I know that Christmas is next Friday, a week from tomorrow. Hopefully, I have the post up tomorrow so I can say it's a week. Uh, things that have been going on, finished my improv class, went really well, uh, had a blast. And early Christmas gift, level two, improv classes, dad already got them for me, so I can now progress on. I'm taking them Saturdays from 11.30 to 3 o'clock for seven weeks, three and a half hour classes, so awesome. Uh, my teacher is Derek Miller, who is known on uh, the new show Secret Girlfriend, He's the taller, not curly hair guy who is one of the friends of the main character who you actually are if you haven't seen the show. Other than that, I have been doing some Christmas shopping and I took a test for the 2010 census because they're looking to hire 8,000 people. 8,000! Let's flash that on the screen because that's a lot of people. 8,000 people. So I took the test. I missed two. And so I got 26 out of 28, so good. Uh, this Friday, tomorrow, the filing closes for Ventura. So hopefully, fingers crossed, double crossed on getting, that, getting something further along with that. Because if I could work at Ventura, that would be the best. That would be absolutely perfect. Went to a holiday party yesterday at iOS, which wasn't too bad. It was super crowded, though. I couldn't even get around, but there were some holiday shows. And it was nice to see because some of the people actually play musical instruments, which is really nice. And speaking of musical instruments, how about we check in with Sean Cole with This Week in Washington. Greetings, welcome to another edition of This Week in Washington. Uh, this week was pretty easy going, didn't do too much in school. I mean, well, I mean, we learned a bunch of stuff like doing dents and French horns and stuff. But basically it was just a, a pretty, pretty not too crazy week. Uh, definitely the highlight of the weekend was uh, going to Tuba Christmas with my buddy Fred and Mikey. Um, basically, well, instead of trying to explain it, here, I'll give you a taste of what it is, and I'll, then I'll talk more about it. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, about 300 plus tubas and baritones playing Christmas carols in, in Pioneer Courthouse Square in Portland, Oregon. So basically what we did Friday is uh, 
Fred, Mikey, and Fred's girlfriend and I, we all drove down to Vancouver, Washington, which is uh, towards the end of Washington. So it was kind of a drive, but it wasn't. The traffic was terrible, and it took us a long, longer to get there than I had planned because of really bad traffic. But anyway, so then we got there. We, you know, I stay. I spent the, the time at Fred's house, his parents' house. Parents were pretty cool, pretty friendly. Um, then the next day, Fred got up early to go down, and then Pam came over to Fred's house, and then we left to go to the Tuba Christmas and then we watched the Tuba Christmas which was pretty fun although it was cold because it was kind of raining and uh, but it wasn't it was it was more like misting it wasn't really raining but it wasn't too bad and then after that we walked around Portland for a while with Mikey's brother um, Mikey my other friend from class he and T Fred are both Tuba players so they both played in it um, so then after that, we uh, we went back to Fred's place, and then we went to a concert that uh, a friend of Fred's from high school was playing in, and basically it was, we went to this place called the Pop Culture, basically it's a soda bar, in, uh, over in Vancouver, Washington. It's more of like a local kid hangout kind of place, um, so a lot of kids are there like teenagers who are friends of the, the band that was playing. They were all right. They did a lot of cover songs of of, of uh, popular bands, and it was pretty good. I mean, I definitely felt really old being there because, well, Fred's like 19. So being a 24-year-old in a kid hangout bar was kind of awkward, but it wasn't too bad. It was kind of fun. Uh, after that, next day on Sunday, we uh, took a little trip up to, the, up to Helvetia, with uh, two of Fred's friends uh, from high school that he had who are now in college doing stuff. Um, uh, we went up to this place, you know, Helvetia, to go to the Helvetia Tavern, which according to Fred was like amazing burgers. And they were pretty good. I mean, they weren't, they weren't like the counter or Fuddruckers. And well, I just discovered that there's a counter up in Seattle, Washington, which I'm gonna have to go to soon because it's amazing. Anyway, Thanks for tuning in um, for another edition, and I'll see you next week. Alright, so I hope you guys are having, uh, you're all set for the holidays. Uh, I can't really say what kind of Christmas shop I've been doing, because my dad and a lot of my friends watch these, so... Sorry. Ah, my mom, though, she doesn't watch. Dad and I got her a guitar. So hopefully she really enjoys that. She used to play. She was a classically trained piano player. Played a lot. Uh, wasn't able to play anymore. Didn't bring the piano to New Mexico. So hopefully with the guitar, she she enjoys it. Uh, love her a lot. Miss her. And hope she's doing well. I know she doesn't watch these because she doesn't have internet. If you happen to find yourself with your ex-girlfriend at the local crate and barrel, and this brings up some awkwardness, then reach into your fanny pack and pull out a Portuguese-speaking narwhal that only knows the English phrase, where's the beef? Remember, nothing like maximum ridiculosity to help cool down an awkward situation.